What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Today is Saturday. It's very, very busy. Um, I'm just now starting the video, and it's already 3.44 p.m. Um, we have one package that came in we're going to open up later. It's going to be really, really awesome. Um, we also, so we did not get a shipment of, like, Nintendo games today, so it's probably going to be Monday for that, but we did get one package from eBay that came in. We have some trade-ins to go through as well, and then also I got a bunch of shipping done. We have this container and those boxes down there. I should probably close that before someone gets stabbed. So, yeah, it's going to be, going to be pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's just look at these trades. So the first thing you might notice are these amazing Walking Dead Blu-ray sets. So we got four of them here. We have the fourth season, we have the third season, we have the fifth season, and the second season. These are all fully complete. They all have their little like statue display things. This one, you can actually fill it with water and it backlights it. <laughs> And uh, so there's those. And then we have the Razer Wolverine Xbox One controller. We've had this in once before, um, but pretty cool. It's kind of like the like the Elite controller. And then we also have, well, these Genesis games came in, um, and they're not in the system yet. That's why they don't have tags, but um, that's why they're separate from these ones. So we have Super Battleship, Hard Driving, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Sonic 2. There was a copy of Sonic 3, but we already sold that one. And then this stack here, we have SpongeBob for Game Boy Advance, Star Fox Guard, Zumba Fitness, Destiny, The Division, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Calvin Tucker's Redneck Jamboree, <laughs> Carnival Games, uh, Wind Waker HD, first print with the gold cover, iCarly, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, and Mario Sunshine, which is always awesome to get. And then we get into the really good stuff. We have a stack of Master System, which unfortunately, none of them are the ones that Ryan needs. And then we have a stack of Genesis. These are all pretty expensive. They are sorted by cheapest first. So if we're starting at 40 and 75, and look how many games there are, you know that they're gonna get a little expensive. So Master System first, we have Assault City, which appears to be like a PAL import. This is a rental, like an ex-rental copy, but what's cool is that the rental sticker says Sega on it. You can kind of see that there. <laughs> But it's marked as poor condition because it's kind of ugly and, like, the artwork's messed up and there's, like, writing on the manual. Then we have Miracle Warriors. Com these are all complete, by the way. Uh, Wonder Boy 3, Dragon's Trap. Ease, The Vanished Omens. And then Fantasy Star. So this one is marked as having no manual. It actually does have the manual, but it's missing the cover. So that's why it's marked as just not having a manual, so... For anyone that buys it, you will get that. It's just kind of a little bonus. And then onto the Genesis games. So we have Dragon's Fury, Ghouls and Ghosts. Can't believe how expensive these are getting. <laughs> Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, which is complete, but it's, you know, it's worn a little bit. Um, so some of these are marked as poor condition. And then we have Gunstar Heroes. We're at 180 bucks, and we still have two more games. We have Turtles, Hyperstone Heist. We just got one of these traded in, but it was in really, really rough condition. Or we, we got it in a package. This one's really, really nice. And then lastly, we have... Unfortunately, it's sun faded. Otherwise, I probably would have kept it because I don't have this game yet. That is The Punisher. How many times do you see a, a $300 plus Genesis game? It's crazy. I did not know that this one was this expensive when I was going through the stack and like doing the trade-in. Um, so I didn't expect it to be that much. But like I said, it is sun faded. You can kind of see, unfortunately, the back looks good, but the front is definitely sun faded. And then the manual has got stickers on it there. So it was definitely like an X-Rental. The cartridge is really nice, at least on the front. Yeah, the cartridge is, is nearly perfect. But the, the manual and the, the case artwork, unfortunately, put it into the poor condition category. So if this was really nice, it'd be closer to like the $400 price. But like I said, it's unfaded. Let's take a look at... I think what's going to be the last of the trade-ins from today. It's like 6.30, so we shouldn't be getting anything else. Um, well, there's actually one trade that Ryan is currently stickering. So we're going to go through all this first. We have a ColecoVision, and this might be one that we sold because the guy bought one from us. He said it, he's not sure if this was the exact same one or not, but 
This came in today. It also came with Mr. Do, which is a $10 game. We have a couple Dreamcast VMUs because we got a Dreamcast in as well. Uh, a couple controllers with that. We got Power Rangers for Super. We have a bunch of Game Boy games, which I'm going to go through last. <laughs> and then we have Ocarina of Time 3D, Pixar for the Switch, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, cover art is water damaged, uh, Assassin's Creed Rebel Collection, and For the King, which is loose. And then we have Black Hawk Down, UMD Movie, Connectimals, Hot Wheels Track Attack, Puzzler World, Legends of Oz, Dorothy's Return, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, Rock Band 3, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, NASCAR Unleashed, Titanfall, Injustice, Kingdom Hearts 2, Samba de Amigo, Soul Calibur Legends, Spider-Man Web of Shadows, We Fit, Lego Indiana Jones, Pets Dogs 2, Nicktoons Globs of Doom, Lego Indiana Jones 2, Game Party 3, Devil May Cry, and Metal Gear Solid 2. And then we have Twisted Metal 2, Twisted Metal, the first one, another Twisted Metal 2, Batman Arkham Origins in the cardboard case, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts uh, demo. Is this put in as a demo? Mm -hmm. I hope so. Uh, Super Bust Move, Tony Hawk's 2X, WWE 2K15, Resident Evil 6, Medal of Honor, Borderlands Double Game Add-on Pack, Borderlands, Connect Adventures, Dead Space 3, Sega Superstars Tennis and Xbox Live Arcade, 2K15, WWE 13, Pets Horses 2, Biggest Loser, Disney Sing It, Left 4 Dead 2, Halo Reach, Snoopy's Grand Adventure, Paws and Claws Pet Resort, Lego Star Wars, and Jack and Daxter. And then we have Sonic and Knuckles. Justice League Task Force, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Earthworm Jim 2, which is the expensive one, and Sonic Spinball. And then those. I'm going to do those last. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, try to make a little bit of room here, we'll go through all those handheld games. So, we have Lord of the Rings, Pokemon Leaf Green, it's got like a bubble on the label there, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, Sims 2 Pets, Hannah Montana, NBA for PSP, and MLB for PSP, Metroid Fusion, Mario Kart 7, uh, Killzone Liberation, Siphon Filter Logan's Shadow, Planet of the Apes, Toy Story 2, 4 in 1 Fun Pack, Retro Atari, Turtles Fall the Foot Clan, Metroid Prime Hunter's First Hunt, which is the demo, Cooking Mama 2, Looks like we got a bunch of PS1 and PS2 memory cards. BattleBots, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition, Infected, Pack Picks, Monster Force, uh, Star Wars Episode 3, Tom and Jerry Infernal Escape, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, Power Rangers, uh, All Grown Up Movie, Harry Potter, Thrillville, Zoo Tycoon 2, WarioWare Touched, another memory card. And then we have the new stack, which I'm gonna sort real quick. It's all PS1. All right, we have Real Fishing, Triple Play 2000, Castrol Honda Superbike Racing, Air Combat, Triple Play 99, NASCAR 98, One, Death Trap Dungeon. These are all in order of price, by the way. Colony Wars, Civilization 2, Riven Sequel to Mist. Wing Commander 4, Odd World, Abe's Odyssey, North by Northwest, which is uh, Lost Vikings, Mist, Wing Commander 3, Blasto, Air Geese, or Air Guys, however you pronounce it, Xeno Gears, and Alundra. The reason this is so expensive is because it includes the map. This map alone is like $100. So, there you go. We actually had a few more Dreamcast games, and they were pulled because these already sold. So, I guess I might as well show them to you, even though they're already gone. We have Time Stalkers, Grandia 2, Blue Stinger, and Code Veronica. That's crazy. Ryan and Navin are going to open the package. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. And then Ryan's picking up a couple things, which yeah. he's dying to show you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die if I don't show you guys. <laughs> so I better show you right now while I'm even prize that open. <laughs> I'm getting this soundtrack, Street Fighter 2. 
And I also got a, what do you call it? I think it's Air Guys. Air Guys, yeah. Maybe Air it's Air Geese, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these two. I've always said Air Guys, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. There's something else in there, Ryan. Ooh. I got this piece. This was yeah. an eBay purchase. Nice. This was an auction oh. that I won. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Yeah, I guessed it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We both said that yeah, at the same time. Yeah, we both said that. Ryan, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not letting me. What is that? it? Say <laughs> Earthbound for Super Nintendo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. In amazing condition. They wrapped this too much. Back label's perfect. Front label's pretty perfect. Looks legit. Yeah. It's got a couple of scratches. Metal screws, good. It's got the little little number stamped in there, which is a good sign. <laughs> what really makes me think that it's legit, though, is that it comes with this. Right. <laughs> the strategy guide. The guide's a little yeah. worn. Um, yeah, it's definitely worn. Let's look at the scratch and sniffs. Yeah, we're at the la very last page. Ooh. Yeah, they're all in there. <laughs> that is awesome. So you can scratch them and sniff, sniff them if you want. <laughs> I might. <laughs> Which one? Which one are you gonna do? Uh, do the monkey. <laughs> okay. I don't know where to. Okay, scratch right there. Mmm. <laughs> old, old bananas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice. Who wants to smell the fart? <laughs> you, want, you want to smell the fart? I'll do the. Do it, Navin. <laughs> I'm not doing the fart. I can't do it. Do I'll do the mushroom guy. <laughs> yeah, you got the scratch spot. It smells like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You want to do the fart? No. <laughs> See, no, no one wants to do the fart. When it like... first came out, they probably all smelled different because. I've scratched them before. I think they all smell the same. Yeah. And they all smell bad. <laughs> it smells like pepper. Oh, you did the fire one? No, fart one. Yeah, she did oh, the fire oh, one. Oh, weird. It smells like pepper. Maybe it's dirt. <laughs> I don't know. Well, either way, won this in an auction. It was listed in the UK, and it listed that it did not ship to the US. Mm. That's why I was like, okay. And someone someone uh, posted this in the comments. They're like, hey, this is on eBay. Um so I was looking at it, and it didn't ship to the U.S., and I was like, okay, no one's going to bid on it then. Yeah. So I messaged the seller, and I was like, hey, would you ship to the United States? And he's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. easy as that. And because, nice. because he didn't ship to the U.S. but agreed to, it didn't have any postage cost, and he never asked me to pay for it. So it was free shipping. None of those smell nice. bad, but that, the fart one does smell like pepper. <laughs> But the, the mushroom one just smells like dirt to me. So yeah. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it was pretty cheap considering like what the cartridge goes for, what the strategy guide goes for. So this might be in the system tonight because I'm, I'm staying late. I don't know if Abby is. She's not feeling too great. I got my second shot yesterday. I'm not feeling bad. I definitely like had a fever this morning and kind of into this evening. But you're feeling better very... now. Huh? You're feeling better now, though, a little bit. I don't bit. have a fever anymore. I am, like, feeling really lethargic, and then Ooh. all my lymph nodes oh. are swollen in my armpit. That one stinks. Actually, I didn't think <laughs> that one was too bad. That one stinks. Smell that one, David. I'll <laughs> try it. <laughs> it's the same. Yeah, that's like... <laughs> but yeah, so, I don't feel that bad. I mean, like, I... I work through having gallstones and pancreatitis, so <laughs> I kind of figured I'd be fine. I think that Cooper is going to have to stay home after his second vaccine because Cooper is a baby. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see because I didn't have anything from the first one. Neither did I. But the lady said that I that I might. So it's yeah. like, it's not it's not super uncommon, but... I was talking to Nathan, and he said his he got all the symptoms on the first one, but not the second one, but he had COVID. Weird. So, and I think he's he's diabetic, so... Well, that's either way. Did. Cool package. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Thank you guys for opening it. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Of course. <laughs> all right. You leaving? I think 
I'm heading out, yeah. Are we talking yeah, about I think we are. tomorrow? All right. I'm Everybody. going to buy out the GameStop tomorrow. Everybody Yay. wish Kyle, Ryan, Devin, and Navin a good luck on manning the store. And Jess. And Jess. Yeah. And Jess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no Kyle tomorrow? Kyle is in Seattle. That's where he, he was today, and he is tomorrow. What a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> he watches videos. Don't <laughs> He'll be back Thursday, I think. That's like yeah. one thing. So, so many people only see like so much of Kyle, but he's he's really funny. And the other day, so one of us said something. It wasn't me. It was like one of you guys. And he was just like, he's like, you talking crap? And I was just like dying because he's like so serious, but he's just joking. I was like, yeah, get him. <laughs> he is very serious, but... But then he jokes around all the time. Yeah. yeah. But his 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 whole tone and everything is just like a hundred percent serious. Yeah. yeah. The other day I was just like I was like oh dang I was like it's hot in here and he's like I'm sorry. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Yeah. See, See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. We actually have one more little trade that was sitting out here. We're going to go through that pretty quick here. We have Borderlands 2, Bioshock the Collection, Friday the 13th, The Order 1886, Sealed Destiny, which that's not even in the system, Demon Souls, uh, PAL Australian Import, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, then some NES games. We have Disney's Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, Yoshi, Sesame Street ABC, Kung Fu, Fester's Quest, Knight's Night, Iron Sword Wizards and Warriors 2, and Chippendale Rescue Rangers. It's time to go home for the night, guys, but before we do, I wanted to show you a couple things. So, got some plushies done. We have the Monster Hunter ones, which I had to put in here, because I filled this up with other ones. So, all of these, well, most of these on the top here, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, the and the, the Ghastly. These are Pokemon Fit, is like the like the brand they're all from pokemon center in japan but the like the pokemon fit i don't know if that was like some sort of game or something but they made all these plushies for them and they're super super cool they're all roughly the same size they're all kind of smaller like between four and like six or seven inches and they they are all beanbag ones as well but they seem to have some characters that i have never seen in plush form like the natu the hound doom the ghastly uh, you know, even the Ivysaur, like we've never gotten plushies of those before in any other form. So it's cool to see them like that. But those are in. We also kind of expanded the the, uh, the soundtrack area to include these two shelves because we could not fit them all over there. There's a couple gaps right now. There wasn't a gap there earlier. So some stuff has sold. Um, strategy guides had to move up a little bit too to, you know, accommodate for that room. And then we also got a ton of NES games out. So I took the very bottom shelf that those were on, moved it up there, moved a bunch of the extra controllers to the back. So we got all, all the NES games that were bagged and tagged are out here now. We do have some back stock stuff, though. So there's a bunch of Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, Fighting Golf, John Elway Quarterback. So all this is going to go into the back stock. We still have all this stuff over here which is in the system, but it needs to be tagged, bagged, and then we need to take pictures of it and we can put that out. We did get some Super Nintendo out as well. Some of the PS1 stuff is out. We still have more to resurface. And yeah, we grabbed, we grabbed all the rest of the orders that sold after we closed. So that is all ready to go. Oh, we also got the Earthbound in. Um, it's in pretty nice condition, but I did notice there's that little nick in the label. And then we also have the guide out here. I'm locking all these up because we're leaving. And tomorrow morning, I am going and we are buying the rest of that GameStop inventory, which is going to be awesome. So hopefully you guys will come back for tomorrow's video because it's going to be crazy. So thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.